You sure took your time. I know I couldn't find anything I liked. So did you buy the dress? Yep. Come see it. Wow, it's great. <laughs> How much was it? It's almost 500 bucks. Really? Wait, I got these shoes uh -huh. and a purse to go with it. Great. There was a lot of other things that I liked, but everything was too expensive. Well, that's your fault. You know, when Tony offered you all that money, you should have taken it. How am I supposed to do that, Marnie? I mean, he's already paying for the dress, not to mention the whole party. So you guys said live in San Francisco? Yeah, for a while. We're gonna live in his place, and then I think he wants to get a bigger place. Mm. I'm so happy. Yeah, I can only imagine. So I'd be that happy, too, if I was marrying a great guy like Tony. You know, the only thing missing from making him perfect is money. Well, he's not poor, either. Hello? It's me. Tony. Is that you? Don't worry. I'm fine. Are you here already? No, we're still in Acapulco with a client. You ready for our big day at City Hall tomorrow? Mmm, yes I am. Hey, I bought a dress. Hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Listen, I'll be at your place tomorrow around 11. Okay. Hey, don't miss your flight. I don't want to be getting married to a ghost, you know. Not a chance. I'm on the last flight out tonight. Tony? I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Look, I'm real busy. You wanted to see me? Yeah, I do. Look, I just got off the phone with Packer. He told me he talked to you. And you gave the go-ahead on the construction out in San Carlos. Yeah, I did. You got a problem with that? Well, I think we both should. Look, Building and Safety Commission warned us about the underground air pockets. That's going to kill the whole project. That's an intentional slowdown. You know that. Besides, I thought you Max, and I... Max, exactly what is it with you? That makes you so stupid. Well, I don't know. You shouldn't talk to me like that. <laughs> I can. And I will. Look, my father didn't come to this place and build this empire for you to walk in and screw up. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to call Packer, and you're going to tell him to stop the work. Were you and your brother arguing again? He's not my brother. Just because you married his father doesn't make him my brother. Why were you arguing? Because he hates me almost as much as I hate him. Oh, Max, you're both so strong-willed. Let me ask you something, Mom. Hmm. Why did the old man leave everything to him? Oh, Max. Weren't you his wife? How come there wasn't anything for us? I mean, he could have left you anything, a shopping Albert mall. Albert was Tony's father. We don't need anything. Not your second in command of business. Second in command. That's gonna change. Max. Oh, son. Please try to be more understanding. Tony has his hands full managing Stockdale Enterprises and all the properties here in Acapulco and all over Mexico. Oh, honey, please try to be. Try to be more of a help to him. why he doesn't want to have this huge blowout party. This is a small dinner. I mean, how are our friends going to meet him? It's going to be your husband 
They don't even know him. Don't worry about it. I already told you. After we get married in the church, we'll have a huge blowout. We'll invite all our friends. I just don't see what the big deal is. I mean, you're getting married as far as the state's concerned. Because I want a party after the ceremony in Hand Green. Mm. So have you found out how much he makes yet? No. But I know he works for the same construction company. He has for years. And he said they really like him a lot. They might even give him a promotion soon. Mm. Who cares anyway? Point is, we are madly in love. And in one week, I'm going to be Mrs. Rachel Stockdale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know anything about his family, Rachel? I already told you he doesn't have one. You know, that's really weird. He doesn't have an aunt, an uncle, a cousin somewhere? No, not one. You guys still going to Hawaii for your honeymoon? Mm-hmm. Isn't that great? Yeah, great. Listen, um, Marnie. Hmm. Tony doesn't want me to work after we're married. So, you're gonna have to take charge on this one. I know. You don't have to rub it in. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm being serious. I just can't contribute anymore, and you know Dad can't because can't. of his leg. Can't? You mean he won't? You know, he's been using that leg of his as an excuse for so long. Look at you buying into it. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> he's late, isn't he? Oh, I'm sure he's off at some bar somewhere celebrating his favorite daughter's wedding. Don't be stupid. You know he loves us both the same. Whatever. Barney, I'm getting married. Why can't you be happy about that? today. Uh, what did she want? Well, she wanted to talk to you. She said she'd come by and see you tomorrow. I'll be gone all day. I may go away tomorrow. Where? New York, probably. Well, Max, as long as you don't have anything to do around here, you're free to go. First of all, Tony, I wasn't asking for your permission. <laughs> Secondly, if I did have any business pending, I'm sure that your multi-talented mind would figure out a way to handle it. It's all right, Victoria. As usual, he can't take it. I'll try to be a little more patient with him, dear. <laughs> but you think I'm patient enough? Apparently, he's a little jealous because everything he has, it belongs to you. Look, I wasn't about to turn down my inheritance to please him. Oh, darling, but can't you see the underneath all of that? He's really a very nice person. <laughs> yeah, way underneath. Oh. Look, Victoria, I'm sorry. I mean, I know he's your son. But he has hated me since the day you married my father and moved here. I must say I'm not very fond of him either. Oh, Tony. I mean, he goes out of his way to undermine our relationship. And Stockdale Enterprises is too big for me to waste time on him. I'm sorry. Look, the only reason I let him hang around here is because of you, Victoria. Look, I have some work to do. I'll see you later. Good night. Good night, son. Did you eat? <laughs> yes, yes, I ate. You also had a few drinks, huh? Uh, 
Yes, I did, Rachel. To celebrate, honey. Are you happy? Yeah, Dad. I'm very happy. <clears throat> Look, I, I spoke with Marnie. She promised she'd get a job this time. In any case, I'm not going to walk out on you two. No, no, no. Don't you worry, Angel. We'll get by. Just so you're happy. Thanks, Dad. Come on, it's getting late. We should go to bed. Yeah. Daddy, I love you. Ticket to San Francisco. Tony's name, I hope. Absolutely. Great. Thanks. I'll see you later. Congratulations, Mr. Stockdale. Thank you, sir. I wish you happiness. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. No matter what happens, remember I love you. Why do you say it like that? Just remember I love you. Is there anything else we should do? That's all. Thank you. Lewis. Get Philip on the phone. Tell him to get the chopper ready for a fight tomorrow morning. Uh, long trip. You know, there's some problems up at the dam I gotta go check out. Okay, uh, I'll let Philip know right away. Um, you said the chopper, right? What else can I take to get up there? <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, I'll let him know right away. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Congrats, congrats. Uh, one more little detail and we can all party. <laughs> Congratulations, Rachel. Thanks. Congratulations, Tony. Thank you, sir. I know I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try. Make Rachel as happy as I can. And I just hope all of you can be the family I never had. I tell you what, starting today, you can be the son that I never had. Oh. Okay. Oh. Good. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, I can't wait till next week. <laughs> the party. A surprise. That was a surprise. <laughs> I have a bottle of champagne. It's been on ice chilling for about three days. <laughs> right oh, I drank enough already. Yeah, but that was different. Your father was there, your sister. Now we're alone. In my place. We can do whatever we want. 
But I, I... What? It's me, Lewis. Okay, well, your timing stinks, Lewis. What is it? Yeah, Tony is, uh... He's taking the helicopter tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. Anyway, it's, uh... Your call. I'll be on the next flight out. You're leaving? I have to, honey. There's, uh... Problem in Acapulco. I have to head back tonight. Well, I guess that's the way it has to be then. Hey. Will you forgive me? Of course I'll forgive you. But don't do this next week, okay? Not a chance. Are you coming back tomorrow night? I can't tell you that. Then I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I'm just trying to find stuff to wear for my honeymoon. I can't find anything. All my stuff is so old. Dated. God, don't you wish we were rich? We could just buy clothes all the time. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course I'd like to be rich. Who wouldn't? Would you, you take this? Uh-uh. There you go. You should have found a rich husband, Rach. I mean, you're gonna get married. Might as well do it to someone with a lot of money. He'll love it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, Marnie. Where am I supposed to find this rich man? You don't understand. We don't mix with those type of people. Come on, Rach. You're attractive. You could practically get any guy on your looks alone. Particularly if you provided another form of entertainment. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, looks aren't everything. Barney, listen. When you find somebody that you like, one day you will. And you just, you just know that he's perfect for you. None of that stuff matters. I mean, Tony isn't exactly poor. You know, I, he, he has a really nice apartment. I mean, it's small, but it's well decorated. He's an awesome dresser, and he takes me to the best places. Yeah, I will give him that. I mean, he does take you to all the best places, and he's doing a lot better than we are. I just know I want to marry a rich guy. Yeah, well, I hope you find him. Uh, that was a short trip. Well, I remembered I had some business, so I came back early. There might be hope for you after all. Have a nice trip.
I had a few things I remember that I had to do, so I came back last night. Now, when I talk to you. About what? About you and Tony. Oh, honey, please. Mm. You're going to have to try to find some way to work this out. Mother, please don't nag me. I have more important things to do and certainly more important things to think about than Tony. Pleasure. <laughs> Let's just hope nothing goes wrong. Now you gotta get back up to San Francisco, take care of the judge and the secretary. I'm on my way. I'll take care of her at last. Whatever. Just make sure it's discreet. Hey, that's what you pay me for. Amazingly hot. It is. Where's your husband? Sleeping it off. He was up late drinking. Probably be in a terrible mood today. Where's Tony? He flew over to one of the projects. Said something about a problem. I will never understand why he works so hard. Camille, he takes care of the rest of us. Besides, I think he likes it. <gasps> Lewis, could you have James bring me a gin fizz? Uh, yes, ma'am, right away. Oh, Camille. Mother, did Tony go to San Francisco yesterday? I don't know. Why? Well, I found a plane ticket in his desk. I don't know. Possibly. I never know where either one of you is. Morning, Victoria. Morning, Charles. Hi. I want to work with you. All right. Drive it. Okay, let's go to my office. What do you think that's all about? I don't know. I, I didn't want to say anything in front of the ladies, but it looks like we've got a, a disaster on our hands. What's happened, Charles? Well, uh, they, they got a distress call at the airport uh, from the helicopter that Tony was flying in, and... Uh, they were having some problems, and after a few moments, they lost contact. What, did it crash? Well, we don't know yet. They called me at the office, and I came here as soon as I could get here, just to tell you in person. Do they know the exact spot where it went down? Well, no, somewhere in the mountains outside of Iguala. Uh, they said that they'd call me at the office as soon as they found the craft. Well, then we better get down there. I actually thought he was going to win. Imagine that. Where are you going, son? I'm just to the office of the plan. I got a couple things I gotta... Y'all have a good morning, ladies. See you later.
Well, I'm glad you're not the one that lost. You know how Tony hates it when you gamble. Tony is such a bore. He doesn't like anything I do. Good afternoon. Oh, Mara, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, Camille. Hello. I heard you had a pretty wild party last night. True. Some friends came in unexpectedly from Los Angeles. Some very fun people. Would you like something to drink, Lara? Oh, I would love some white wine. Thank you. I'd like another fizz. Where's your brother? Not here. I haven't seen him in such a long time. He thought he was an easy catch. <laughs> what are you talking about? You thought Tony would get hooked like that, but he was harder to catch than you thought. Yeah, he really is a tough cookie. Do you know if he's seeing someone? I have no idea. You know, Tony's very secretive. Who knows? Maybe one of these days he'll be falling for you. Maybe. <laughs> well, we're fixing to put the call through any second now. Tony never liked the flying in that helicopter. You know, it was as though he knew something was going to happen. See? Si. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is Max Hauser. No, fine. No, no, I'll wait at this number. Press it. Did they find it? No, they didn't. Police have helicopters searching the area, but they haven't found anything yet. All we can do is wait. You know, Charles, I'd like some coffee. Yorita, si a tan amable de traernos dos cafés. said he was going to call, so I decided to wait. Oh, oh man, leave so suddenly. He said he had a problem with the clients in, San, in uh, Acapulco. Oh, boy, that, that, uh, that really is a big company he works for, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> He's a good man, Reeds. Hard worker. Your legs still hurt? Oh, just a bit. Look, honey, um, you know my old buddy, Roger, right? Yeah, what about him? Well, you know how I, uh, I, I help him get stuff for his business and that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. But you see, there's, a <clears throat> there's this old lady. She's got this big house, and it's just crammed full of stuff, Rach. Some of it's good, some of it's bad, but some of it's antiques, see? And, of course, old Roger, he, he doesn't have any money to buy this stuff. And, you know, I, I know she doesn't have a clue as to the value. So if we get in there, we could make a lot of money. Dad, you know I don't like your buddy Roger. He's already been in jail for fencing stolen goods. I don't want you... Wait, wait, I know, honey, but this is different. It really is. This is a legitimate, respectable old lady who really just wants to sell her own stuff. No, I, 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 I feel a little bit funny asking you, but uh, look, I know you got a big bonus when you quit your job, and it's only $2,000. What? You want me to give you $2,000? Rach, it's only a loan. But, Dad, I... Rach, it's only a loan, honey. I'll pay you back every cent just as soon as we sell the stuff. <laughs> honey, look at me. Just your old man, don't you? Huh? Say, bueno. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's me. How's it? I understand. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. I'm sorry too, officer. Thanks. Now listen, if the press wants to know, tell them. You found it? Yes, I did. James? Yes, sir. Why don't you make yourself useful? Go get my mother. Right away, sir. <laughs> I told you, Max, where are your manners? You just walk right past us, don't even say hello. Max, why weren't you at lunch? Mother, please sit down. What are you going to perform? What's wrong? I don't know how to say this gently, so I'm just going to say it. There's been an accident. The helicopter Tony was flying in crashed. It's not true. Max, if this is your idea of a joke, it's really bad. It's not a joke. The copter crashed. The police are investigating, but they had to call off the search because it got too dark. But they're pretty sure there's no survivors. Oh. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm right here. No, he's dead. His helicopter crashed and he's dead. What? Really? <laughs> yes. Max just told us. The helicopter crashed and there were no survivors. Tony, that's terrible. God. Tony, do you realize what this means? We're gonna get everything. How can you say that? Tony was my brother. I understand, but, but if you think about it, Max shouldn't get anything. He was Victoria's son, not your father's. I really loved him. So did I. So did I. <laughs> yes? Did you want me? Hi, Mom. Yeah. Did Mara leave? Yes. Max, I don't understand it. marriage license. Mm -hmm. Tony? That's right. To a woman named Rachel Swanson. I found her in the bedroom. That's 
It's impossible. He says he got married yesterday. Mm-hmm. Who is this woman? I don't know. But what I do know is that we got to get in touch with her before the media does. How can he get married and not tell me? Why don't you call her? Call who? It's Rachel Swanson. She lives in San Francisco. I found her number with some papers at Tony's. Oh, that's why Tony went to San Francisco to get married. Mm-hmm. All oh, that poor woman. What am I supposed to tell her? The truth. You got to tell her the truth and get her down here. We've got to get to her before the press does. Come on. From dim sum to fettuccine Alfredo to beef Wellington. It's all here for you to discover. Hello? Hello, this is Victoria Stockdale. Is Rachel there? Oh, yeah, just a sec. Rachel! Hey, Rach! Telephone! Is it Tony? Some woman. I don't know. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs. Victoria Stockdale. Mrs. Stockdale? Are you any relation to Tony? Yes, I'm his stepmother. Don't explain anything. What's the matter? Dear, I'm... There's, there's been an accident. It... I hate to tell you this, but... Tony's dead. He's dead? What do you mean he's dead? 